Laura Story. Martin, where is Martin? Martin Elvington, where is that guy? Come on up, guy. It's Laura's husband, Martin, come on up. We got something else set for you tonight. If y'all be seated just for a second, I'm going to call a couple of folks up that are our special guests tonight. The president of Columbia International University, Dr. Bill Jones, and the, and the alumni director for Columbia International University, Dr. Roy King. I'm going to hand it over to them because they've got a surprise. <laughs> Laura asked if we were retracting the diploma. <clears throat> there is a, a, an accreditation standard that if you don't finish within seven years, Over the 87 year history of our university, we've done a great job recognizing the over 16,000 alumni serving in 146 countries around the world. But typically, they're older, they've, they're at the end of their ministry, they've demonstrated a, a life of faithfulness. Two years ago, the alumni ministries, Dr. Roy King is the director of our alumni ministries at CIU, they said, we need to recognize the younger alumni. And they created a new award called the Recent Alumni Recognition Award. And they've given me the privilege of being in attendance at the first presentation of that award. Now, Laura, you're typically recognized and introduced, and don't cry. <laughs> As, as the author of the 2009 uh, Dove Award for Best Inspirational Album. <laughs> or I'm sure that you're, you often hear people say as they introduce you and recognize you, the author of the song we just sang, Indescribable, which is a powerful song about our amazing God. But Laura, probably nobody in here but my sweetheart knows that you and I were ministering in 1996 together. We started a ministry down at USC called Sunday Night Alive. And hundreds, hundreds of kids started showing up. Dozens came to Christ and Laura was the bass player. And Based on the clue that you gave about your age earlier in the concert, you were 11 years old at the time. <laughs> but Laura, I'm excited about the award that you're about to receive. You deserve it. It's based on 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says, let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Show yourself an example of those who believe. Laura, I'm very proud of you. CIU loves you, and the body of Christ is grateful for you and your ministry. sort of arranged by God for you to be in Columbia, close by, and yet out in sort of doing your ministry, and that the church was gracious enough to let us sort of interrupt and be a part of this. 
but as Bill mentioned, there's thousands of alumni around the world. They're not all up front and public like your ministry, but in a sense, the ministry of sharing Christ, of making Christ followers, and of encouraging people to live with their messy lives under the grace and truth of God is part of what many of our alumni, and you're, we're honoring you tonight to represent the work of God in many of our younger alumni. We give praise to our God. I want to pray for you guys, and then uh, turn it back over to Rick. Father God, we commend our sister Laura and her husband Martin to you, and we pray that as they've begun this race, that you would continue to be their supply each day as you promised to be the God of grace, the God of truth, the God who can enable them to run the race all the way to the end for your glory. And we lift you up because without you, Lord, there is no object for our faith. There is no hope. There is no love that holds this world together and it makes sense. So we give you praise for what you're doing in and through our sister in Christ. In the name of our King Jesus.